Do you want to improve your qualifying scores? Then if the answer is yes, you are in the right place because as WF1 is going to be helping you out for your qualifying sessions this week. I'm going to give you strategy by strategy guide on the four races that are coming this weekend or in qualifying I should say in basically anticipation for a good week. So what we want to do is we want to start you off with the best possible points to take through to opening and final round. We've got boosted drivers again this week and we'll come on to that shortly and you will be able to screenshot these photos and take them away with you. Now, key thing to remember and learn is that you've got to put in the effort with the strategies. I can tell you what they are, but it does come down to you to run them. And I did help a player at the weekend and on Saturday they scored 280 points in champion. On Sunday they had my strategies and they scored around 315, 320. So a massive increase in scores. So let's get into strategies that show you the drivers that are boosted in this pre-qualifying show. And we've got Charles Leclerc, 10%. We've got Esteban Ocon, 10%. And we've also got Pierre Gasly as well. So three boosted drivers to pick from this weekend. In terms of car setup, fastest lap is in OR and FR. So opening round, final round. No need to push for the fastest lap in qualifying. And you can run your PAGR, your highest power, aero, grip and reliability to give you the best possible qualifying position. So let's get in to race one strategy for your qualifying. So race one, we have Baku and Azerbaijan. Now it is a grip and a speed track. Obviously it's got that amazing back straight or home straight, whichever you want to call it, which is amazing for overtaking opportunities. Boosts that are required. We've got no wet percent chance, so you want to be on your dry boosts. And we've got dead fast, lumberjack, shark, and firework as the most recommended boost that you can use. And we'll now look at the key overtaking spots and the strategy to use. So in Baku, turn one on that big long straight into the first corner. Great overtaking spot, one of the best on this track and also ins to turn two and three. Turn six, you can sneak by as well, but that real sector two at Baku is very hard to overtake. So predominantly you want to be conserving through there. Turns 15 and 16, these are put, the penultimate corners to pretty much the straight, and you can get a good launch up the inside through them corners as well. And turn 20, which is a turn, but it is on the straight. It's a little kink in the straight, and you can absolutely fly down there when you're using boosts like Firework, Dead Fast, Lumberjack, anything with overtaking and speed. Your strategy is below. So we've got Baku, we've got Driver 1 and Driver 2, and we've also got your starting position. So if you're starting position 1 to 7, 8 to 16, 17 to 24, you have a different strategy for each. So you could do a 3 to 3 using Firework, if you start in middle of the pack, you want to do a 3-2-3 lumberjack. And it really breaks it out to what strategies you can use. Now, these are my recommended strategies. It's up to you if you want to use them. But with proven success, you can score more points by following these strategies in your qualifying session. Race 2 comes from Miami. So Miami makes another appearance again with possible rain chance but it's very slim we've got an aero and speed track from miami them absolute beast of straights are so good for overtaking and it's no surprise to see dead fast firework shark hex and voice easy very good on this track as well so if you're short on boosts hex is one to use as well but very good track in the dry and so good to attack with speed boosts in the wet hex egg tune in prince and sar also very good indeed the key overtaking opportunities at miami we've got turns one 
and turns three, four, and then down the straight into turns five and six and eight is very good opportunity to overtake. We've got turns 10 and 11, and then turn 12, 17 and 19 all have the best opportunities to overtake. So make sure you do check back to the page before the image that I've shown you previously and look at the circuit map and you can really bring to life. What you need to do with these strategies is look at the best overtaking spots and also learn the track yourself. Learn where these turns are so that when you're racing, you can simply just concentrate where pushing is required. Looking at the strategies, we've got your driver one and driver two strategies again, and also what tyres and boost I recommend to you as well. Because of the slim chance of rain as well, I've got your wet strategy in there too. So there is a chance that rain could come, although it is very slim. Race three comes from Austin, Circuit of the Americas. Characteristics, grip and speed. And there's a good chance of overtaking turn one and down that back straight where you can absolutely fly off the track at the end of it. Boost, dead fast, lumberjack, firework, gladiator. So all boost with speed, overtaking, fuel. You want to be pushing as hard as you can round here. And because we've got a chance of rain as well, hex, egg, tuning and sar make for very good boosts in the wet also. The places that you want to push at Austin is definitely turns one. That is into the first corner. And then you've got turn 11 and 12. So you've got 11 as you approach the back straight. You've got 12 at the end of it. And then 13 and 15 through that middle very tight section, but it's possible to overtake. You've got turns 18, 19 and 20, which make up sector three and the final parts of the track. And they're all turns that if you've got the opportunity to, you really want to be pushing as hard as possible to make up any positions. Looking at the setup of strategy, we've got driver one boost and driver two boost. And you've got the preferred three, three, two on the softs. And you've got the three, two, three mediums, two soft, three medium, three medium on the boost for driver one as well. And then you've got driver two strategies there for your viewing. Dead fast, firework, street shark, all great boosts around Austin. And then you've also got the driver two that you can check. We've got wet chance of rain here. So we've got four wet, four wet with tuning, five wet, three wet with hex. But it might be if you're near the back, that you set up and do a three three two you could even do a two three three as well and really try and attack the field with hex race four the final one of qualifying and if you're already on serious points and you've improved already then let's kick it off with one more race to get you some more points we've got silverstone and we've got a grip track and we've got the boost of Jin. Downforce, Eagle, Dead Fast and Taurus. So predominantly grip, but Dead Fast is very good from the front to use as well. And then an Eagle for the second lot of strategy too. Best overtaking spots, you've got turns three and four, which is just after the first couple of corners. And you can really go up the inside or the outside around the AI or your rival. Down the straight gives us our second or third basically overtaking opportunity into turn six and then down the old straight the old start finish straight pretty much impossible to overtake until you get out the back of maggots and beckett's turns 13 and 14 and then basically coming into the last few corners turns 15 16 and 17 give you another good opportunity to overtake strategy wise dry race so preferred driver one strategy and driver two for you 322 is really good on dead fast and we've got eagle for the one stop on the mediums which is really good a lot of the ai will always pit lap two and three in silverstone so it's always worth extending out where possible so make sure you do definitely give that a go make sure you learn the overtaking spots and where they are on the track and make sure you're pushing as hard as you possibly can so that is your qualifying pre-show, let's call it, out and available to you. 
I've not done one of these before, so do let me know how you think it has been. And I really do hope that it does help you. Like I said, I increased someone's score at the weekend by 30 to 40 points from Saturday to Sunday. So it does definitely work. And as always, I'm here to help you. That's my biggest gain out of this is there's nothing better than seeing players improve their score. So thank you so much for joining me in the qualifying show. And as always, I will always catch you in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know if you want to see more of these guides.